check it out. We're going to talk about the Saima X8C and the mods that I've done to it. And we're going to drink lots of beer. So, I know Bud Light is pretty crappy, but whatever. Okay, first example. Um, I put these bigger skids on here, okay? These skids are not like the skids that were normally on the X8C. For a second. It's got these guys that were individual on each side. They're they're not bad skids. They're actually better than than most of the quadcopters I've played with. Um, but you do have a tendency to tip a little bit if you land like a moron like I do. So <clears throat> these skids right here, this landing gear is from a DJI Phantom one and two, possibly three. I'm really not sure because I don't own a three. I own a one and a two, and I know they fit. And there's no drilling involved. So you can actually just screw these guys in. And they're from Amazon. Um, they're probably like seven bucks, I think, or eight bucks or something that sort. And um, yeah, they go in they go in just fine. There's no issue with those. No mods, no drilling, no no nothing involved. Then I got these guys, these little carbon fiber skids with uh, the foam on it that is zippy tied on there. Which, if you fly like an idiot, which I do, and you come in harsh, it's, you know, there's really no tipping. So I think, in my opinion, with the, uh, the weight that's being put on by these guys, exceeds the, uh, the, how would I say it, uh, whatever it is. But it's better than having these prop guards on here, because the prop guards are just crap. I think, in my opinion. So, <clears throat> all right. I keep hitting this microphone. <laughs> Shit. All right. So the next thing I have is this, this little. They're gonna call it a gimbal if you buy it from a Chinese site or a Japanese site. It's really not a gimbal. It's almost like a like a stabilizer for a camera. And I use a Mobius on this when I film. I haven't really used the the GoPro yet. I've used the SJ4000, which is actually what I'm filming with right now, uh, which is which is a pretty gnarly camera for the price that it is. So this guy, of course, is not gonna sit right. So if you find, let me see if I can find you guys. I try. This is a retake of the video. I threw it across the room before. Um, I know, I know. It's pretty lame. It's pretty lame. I'm unprepared. Kind of what I do. It's a damn camera. It's over here somewhere. But apparently we are drinking, so we're not really sure where we put it. Whatever. So the camera that was originally came with this is is a piece of garbage. It's not even worth wasting your time on. The only thing cool about the camera is the uh, the micro SD card that comes with it. Otherwise the camera quality is terrible. It's not even worth wasting your time. <clears throat> so we took this. This is made for the DJI Phantom. I don't know how cool I'm gonna get it on this video but there's two skids in here. They kind of, it's where the camera slides in, and fortunately, this mount has cutouts for that. So you can kind of line it up pretty decent, and then, you probably can't see this too well either. You can put screws through it and mount it properly. You just have to drill a couple of holes. I drilled three holes. It's totally fine. If, um, if I really wanted to spend my time and do it properly, I would have, instead of the screw head being on this end, I would have done the screw head from this end and put the nut on the outside because when you put excuse me, the battery in, there's a little stress on it. You could feel the, uh, the nut sitting against the battery and that's probably not the best way to do it, but whatever, that's the way I did it. 
So, we covered the landing gear, we covered the skids, we covered this quote-unquote gimbal, which is totally not, but whatever. Um, and this guy flies really, really good in low wind, and if you understand how to fly a quadcopter, minus the GPS and all that other cool crap that the DJI has. If you're a really model aircraft guy, and you really know how to manipulate this guy, it's cool. It, it takes great video, uh, especially with the Mobius on here, and the SJ4000, and the GoPro probably. Like I said, I haven't tried it. I've only done the Mobius and the 4000 on here. Um, so, all right, next to the big mod, that really makes a huge difference on the X8C. But first we have to have some beer. Okay. You see how these spin? Hope you can see it. They spin pretty freely. Unlike how... Hold on. Let me grab this guy. Unlike how this guy spins. Alright. This is another X8C. You see that? I don't know if you can hear it, but... There's some restriction in how this spins. So, buying these new motors, which I think are 20 bucks, 21 bucks, 23 bucks, whatever. It doesn't really make a pretty difference. Um, once again on Amazon. And a huge power difference. And a huge difference of... If you start to lose signal and it starts to drop, or whatever it is, if you're by high voltage lines or whatever interrupts the the radio signal, and you have to recover, this reacts really, really good with these motors. And give you a just a, a, a quick uh, know-how after I have a sip of beer. You take these covers off. I'm just checking to see it. You take these covers off, alright? Once they're off, underneath this, it's unlike the X... Oh, what is it? The 5? I forget. I have it over in the corner over there. Any other seam is... There's a plug to pull the motor out. So if you... <laughs> look at this crap. So, if you go into here, you have two screws. One screw you have to strategically place the props, how they're going to sit, and you can unscrew both of these. So if you unscrew the bottom, unscrew both of these, but don't pull them out. Here's the biggest issue. If you pull them out, they're going to get mad at you, and they're going to actually jump to the original motor because it's magnetic. And you're kind of going to have a pain in the ass trying to get them out. So if you unscrew them, unscrew them, Leave them in there, sitting like this. Drop the motor out. Put the motor back in, the new one. And they're sitting right there. And you screw them back in. Then you put the, the stupid guard plate on the bottom or whatever. And that's... You have a... I'm telling you, this guy... This guy does have the phantom legs on it. It has a, this crappy GoPro mount that I put on. But I'm telling you, the, the difference from... This black one to this orange one with the upgrades that I did with the motors is almost night and day. It's almost night and day. And especially with the GoPro mount, it's uh, it's gonna make a huge difference for you. This you can see it better actually. These little skids over here on that certain quote unquote gimbal with the uh, rubber mounts for the anti-vibration, anti-jello, it sits in between here and it, it's it baffles me because it almost looks like somebody designed it for this quad and a bunch of other quads. Don't know if that's the case, but yeah. So you're good and you should get good video if you have the other one on there. Another thing I love with the seam is the oh, I'll switch, which the uh, Phantoms don't have. So, all right, dudes. Have a good night. I'm going to drink more beer and uh, post your questions in the comments and... If I have an answer, I'll hit you up. All right, later.